I have to admit, the thing I find utterly fascinating about the Battle of Stamford Bridge is that march of the troops up from there you are. If you're Harold, uh, Harold Godwinson, you're waiting for the, uh, you know, you're going to have an attacking army coming across from Normandy. You're waiting down on the English coastline, um, and then suddenly your brother and the Danish king have arrived in the north of England. And what you do is force march your troops up to that place in three days. And on the fourth day in the morning, you arrive before the news of your arrival and you win the battle, which, uh, given what you're about to do, as in lose the battle at Hastings, is pretty striking. But the, the actual the movement is what really gets me. Then, meanwhile, came Harold, the King of the English, with all his levies on the Sunday to Tadcaster, and there drew up his household troops in battle order. And on the Monday, he marched through York. Harold, King of Norway, and Earl Tosti and their force had gone from their ships beyond York to Stamford Bridge, for it had been expressly promised them that hostages would be brought to meet them there from the whole of the Shire. Then Harold, King of the English, came upon them unawares beyond the bridge. They joined battle, and fierce fighting went on until late in the day. And there Harold, King of Norway, was slain, and Earl Tosti and countless numbers of men with them, both English and Norwegians. The Norwegians dot 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 and that's the end of C and so the, that version of the Chronicle so on the battle it's like it's me you said they're asleep but I assume that's actually part of what's going on it's like you moved so fast you get up there you take on the battle but the the chronicler does what the chronicler always does and says yeah it was a great battle took all day uh, but notice the chronicler said that great battle took all day about the one where the English lose but yeah then your side lo loses this time your side wins, but you only name those really elite, so Earl Tosti and countless of men with them, both English and Norwegians, died. So lots of slaughter, but um, no detail. And that's why those later historians are going to say, ah, oh, let me tell you about the guy who defended the bridge. And it's like, yeah, great story. Are you making this up? Quite likely. Or are you, or are you borrowing it from another event? Quite likely. Might have had. So, okay, fair enough. That seems reasonable. <laughs> um, but for the primary evidence, hey, you did get the march. You got the march, the primary evidence, without getting much else. And stand up. <laughs> <laughs>